one of the questions that I get asked a lot is whether or not I had Herxheimer reactions when I started doing my Parasite Heavy Metal and Mold Detox through the God's Herbs Heal Company. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking about what a Herxheimer reaction even is, some of the symptoms of a Herxheimer reaction, and just some of the ways that you can combat Herxing symptoms if you decide that you want to do an herbal detox of some sort. I am personally doing the one through God's Herbs Heal. I found the company through TikTok and the owner of the company, her name is Wendy, and she goes out and she forages all the herbs herself. So it's all organic, all local to the United States. So that's why I chose her company. And she also had really great testimonials and reviews. And I haven't found any other protocol that says that they would help people with long COVID or symptoms after having COVID besides her company. So I am on her protocol five which is a long COVID protocol and you all, it has been the only thing that's helped me. And I don't say that lightly because you all know, if you've been here since the beginning, I had tried every supplement under the book and detoxing from parasites and detoxing from mold illness and using herbs to help cleanse my system has been the only thing that has helped me. And so I know there's other things out there that long haulers are trying that has worked for them that may have not worked for me in the past, like nicotine patches. I tried nicotine patches that did not work for me. You can see the video um, tagged above about that whole experience for me. But I think the beauty of healing your body is that sometimes your body's not gonna react the same way as it does with other people. So it's definitely something you have to do at your own discretion and to look at all the other options and figure out what works for you because what works for my body might not work for you. So also another thing to know that if you are considering doing some sort of herbal detox, do talk to your doctor before putting any herbs in your body because certain herbs do interact with medications that people are on. So do just talk to your doctor and make sure everything's in the clear there. This video is not medical advice. This is just what has worked for me. So let's get right into it. So what is a Herxheimer reaction? So I went to a medical group online to see what they had to say about a Herxheimer reaction because I can definitely put it into my own words on what Herxing is, but I wanted to go to the professionals to give a more accurate description of what it is. So according to Holtorf Medical Group, a Herxheimer reaction is a natural response to the destruction of harmful bacteria and other threatening microorganisms. So sometimes if you detox too fast or without enough binder, you can go through herxing symptoms. So basically, if your body's not used to detoxing parasites out of it, mold spores have not been detoxed ever in your body, and this is the first time you've ever done a detox, once those organisms die off and that's floating in your body, your body might have bad symptoms that come along with it just because your body's not used to die off. So it's very important that you take it slow when you start to do a detox. And it's also important that you're taking binders to help catch the die off. So I wanted to bring up also a popular Lyme's patient's account. I, I don't have Lyme disease, but she talks about parasite detox. And I thought it would be interesting just to kind of share that information with you. And she talks about um, on her TikTok account, her name's Alpal. 48, Alpel underscore 48, I'll tag you right here. She started doing parasite detoxing and it made her feel better from Lyme's illness. She was having seizures, she was having um, other just like neurological issues just from having Lyme's and nothing had helped her besides doing a parasite detox. And this specific creator, she actually does a detox through Rogers Hood, which is another like parasite detoxing company that does all natural herbs. So that's another option you can consider if you're thinking about going the detox route. But she started doing a detox and she originally was taking diatomaceous earth, which is a type of way to detox your body. But she, and she was eating a bunch of pumpkin seeds and pumpkin seeds are a natural antiparasitic as well, if you didn't know that. So she was doing diatomaceous earth and eating a bunch of pumpkin seeds and her body was detoxing too fast and she went and she felt this pain in her neck and her neck cracked and she couldn't walk for a few days she went to the er didn't know what was going on and it turned out that she just detoxed too fast and had really bad herxing symptoms and for her that showed up 
in the fact that she had pain in her head and she couldn't walk and it was a scary time for her to hear her full story definitely look it up on tiktok but she that that's an extreme story of bad herxing symptoms from just detoxing too fast so what are some other symptoms of a herxheimer reaction some common ones have to do with your gi tract so diarrhea constipation bloating are all in, under the category of a herxing symptom headaches fatigue um, having a metallic taste in your mouth from parasite die off once parasites die in your system they leak out heavy metals that they have been eating and you can actually taste it in your mouth um, body aches and pain fever changes in mood and then also just skin abnormalities so if you start to get a bunch of acne if your skin just doesn't look right that could be herxing symptoms as well so let's get on to the question that someone asked me was did i have herxing reactions and yes i did so i remember going so it was right when i started detoxing with parasite detoxing and heavy metal detoxing and all that with the god's herbs heal and i was trying to go to the dry sauna almost every day to try to sweat out any potential toxins in my body just to kind of get things move, moving flowing you name it and so i just remember leaving the sauna and feeling like i had this really bad metallic taste in my mouth and no matter how much i spit or anything like that I could still taste it and this is back when i was posting my long COVID journey on tiktok and someone asked me they're like maybe you should get a pregnancy test you might be pregnant and in that moment i knew i was not pregnant because i was not active at the time so that was not even a possibility for me but i did have a metallic taste in my mouth which is a herx symptom i also had diarrhea which is really gross and i had fatigue but fatigue for me it's hard to know if the fatigue was from long covid because i had chronic fatigue from that where if i was more fatigued because i had long covid and i was doing detoxing as well i'm not really sure if they were separated or if it was just because of the detox why i was having more fatigue at that time i don't really know but i was fatigued and then i also had mood changes feeling like a bit angry at times feeling even more brain fog moments than usual just having symptoms that seem like it was long covid but it could have been a little bit more exasperated because i was detoxing at the same time so i think the biggest herx reaction i had was the metallic taste which really freaked me out but anytime i did have a metallic taste in my mouth or if i felt like i had any herx symptoms going on i would take more binder and for my binder i take zeolite powder and you could take zeolite you can take charcoal pills or powder what can you do if you have herx reaction so let's say you decide you want to go with a detox protocol you just started it but you start to feel off you're starting to feel a little bit fluish maybe you're starting to get a fever you want to be able to combat those symptoms so some of the main ways that you can combat symptoms of herxheimer reactions is one you can take more binder like i said so you can take more zeolite powder or charcoal pills you could also take a epsom salt bath to help detox your body or you could do castor oil packs so putting castor oil on your stomach and liver area with the pack around you or you could put it in your neck area the castor oil and wrap a towel around you just to kind of make sure it doesn't get on your clothes castor oil packs also help and there's some more options um, i'm going to put up this graphic by dr jabin moore he's a holistic doctor so there's that if you're interested in learning more about how to combat Herxheimer reactions. But yeah, in this video, we went over what a Herxheimer reaction is, some of the symptoms of Herxing, some ways you can combat Herxing, and some of the Herxheimer reactions that I personally had. If you've ever had Herxheimer reactions and you have tips for people in the comments, I'm sure there's a lot of people here that are considering doing more of a holistic healing route or maybe they're looking into parasite detoxing and they don't know where to start and they landed on this video if you have any tips at all do comment below to just try to help other people out in this journey i know it can seem very very isolating at times especially if you don't know anyone else that is healing their body holistically and so i just hope that this channel and this medium can help you kind of find answers when you just can't 
find answers anywhere else. With that said, thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, give us a follow if you are looking for just answers on to how to holistically heal your body. I'm not making any promises. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. This is just my own personal healing journey. And I'm here just to kind of give out any information I can on what's really helped me in my long COVID healing journey. So with that said, I'll see you all in the next video.